Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we're gonna show you guys how to fix the import and export buttons being grayed out on Outlook for Mac. We've gotten this question a lot and we figured we would just make a video quickly addressing the problem and how to fix it. Before we get started with that, if you're interested in purchasing Microsoft Office or other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software, we'll put links down below. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so if you have the desktop application for Outlook, it may look something like this. This is the new Outlook for Mac, which is a recent kind of redesign, and the UI on this application looks more similar to that of other Mac applications. We're kind of missing that traditional Microsoft Office tab and ribbon setup. And while this is very nice, we're actually missing some features here on this new version of Outlook that we can still access. So, for example, if I go and try to import slash export, under the file tab in the top, we can see it's grayed out. And you might be wondering why is it grayed out? Well, it's because this new and refined version of Outlook does not support that feature yet. So it's rather unfortunate, but there is something we can do about it. If we go to the help tab in the top, we can simply hit revert to legacy Outlook and this is gonna bring back that traditional look. So let's go ahead and do that and see what happens. All right, so this may look more familiar, especially if you're a longtime Microsoft Office user. And now if I go to import and export up here in the file tab, neither of them are grayed out. And if I click it, it'll work just as expected. I can export an OLM file, which is the Mac data file for Outlook, or I can also import and we can import either PST or OLM. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for today's video. If you found it helpful, you really appreciate a like, comment and subscribe. And if you have any questions about any parts of that process, drop it in the comment section below. We'll get back to you as soon as possible. We strongly encourage any specific video topics that you might want for us to cover. And again, be sure to check that description if you're interested in purchasing Office or other Microsoft software at a great price. So thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.